Hello, it is Saturday the 18th of December and breakfast this morning is some Weetabix minis with a coffee. I am going into Cardiff, I'll pop the calories by the side and I will take you with me and show you what I'm doing. Next up, Asda. So Cardiff is done. I'm currently in a little village not far from me because my brothers and my sister and I take part in a charity shop challenge every year. So of course Beth has left it till the last minute because I've been in work and she's going down west tomorrow so I need to get everything today. So I'm on a mission and if it's any good I'll show you when I'm there. Well, that was actually a lot easier than planned. Five minutes later, I'm out. I've got the present sorted. I've also got something in my eye. But I'm really glad because my feet are killing me. So I think we're going to go for some food this afternoon. Obviously, I will take you with me because I've been not great lately. But, you know, it's fine. I'm controlling it. I'm monitoring it. And that's the best way. So not wanting to give myself more washing up, I've left it in the carton that it came in. So this is an Aldi salad with some coleslaw and it's Jollibee chicken so it's kind of like a KFC so I'll use the Jollibee at uh, the KFC to get the calories and I'll pop them all by the side. This is the Jollibee chicken and then later on tonight we are going to go to the Chinese restaurant have a sit down meal and then go to Winter Wonderland later. It's a lovely restaurant in Cardiff that we go to and when we do go here we tend to order a few things off the menu and then share it. So it's Winter Wonderland time. I'll see, we don't have any kids with us, but we still get excited. I'm going to turn you around and show you. Chilling and having a good, good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling Or the windows in the rain is pouring It will always be Christmas in my heart But this year I want to hang out with my friends and family Making angels in the sand you read me Doesn't matter if it's Christmas Santa's coming to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times And there we are in Cardiff City Centre with a lovely big Christmas tree and I've just missed the lights because now I can't walk across the road. <laughs> Whoops. Good 
you're ever in Cardiff, great Welsh gifts. Just really, really quiet. This is where we were earlier. Look how quiet it is now. I think it closes at 10. Because everything, everything is shut down, switched off. So Tess did manage to, oh, and he fell over. Tess managed to have a photo taken with uh, Craig Bellamy, who she bumped into and said, oh, hi, how are you? I think he thought he knew where, and was trying to place it and couldn't. And uh, until she asked for a photo, and then he realized she's just somebody that knows who he is. <laughs> Hello, it is Sunday the 19th of December and breakfast this morning is just a slice of toast with some butter for 208 calories and a coffee. Well, good morning. It is Sunday the 19th of December and I am being driven by my daughter for the first time since she's passed the test and been insured on my car because she lives away. Well, I say away, it's only Cardiff, but it's still away from home. And we're going to go to a cancer research charity shop but it's like a superstore so i'll obviously show you when i get there biggest charity shop i've ever been to this is the cancer research shop on newport road in cardiff it actually is the biggest charity shop i've ever been to and usually when you go into a charity shop everything is quite close together not in this one masses and masses of space it was brilliant so we've just come back to maya's flat oh there she is she's just come back in and to be fair, for university accommodation for a student, it's not actually in that bad condition, is it, Mai? Is that oh, what's the, the yellow one? Oh, or the blue one? See, I'm interfering. But obviously coming back, I've had to give it a little hoover while I'm here. But to be fair to her, and I did say this to her, I'm going to show you. Can I show them? It's not actually that bad. She's not kept it badly for, you know, I know she's a girl. Is that stereotypical of me? Probably. But I'm sure that the boys... Flats are not as nice as yours, are they? But she's got it in nice condition. Look, here they are. That's her little... Oh, I didn't tidy that or dust it. But I gave the desk a little dust. That's her bag and my keys, so that's, you know, ignore that. And this is her little bed, which she hasn't got any pillows on because they're all in our house. That's a bag of bags. That's her bathroom, which is now nice and tidy. So, to be fair, it's exactly, you know, exactly what you need for university. Oh, I've remember then I switched it around and it cuts me off it's exactly what you need for university accommodation and she's kept it in a lovely little state haven't you? I'm very proud tis a Greg sausage roll for my dinner tea today is a salad, it is 319 calories I didn't have the cheese when I did this so 319 calories for my tea today and then I did have a cupcake which is made by one of my lovely friends in work's son and it's 243 calories I popped it in as a co-op one so all in all, not a bad weekend. We've managed to get out, enjoy ourselves. I haven't felt restricted at all because I didn't really restrict myself. But it is the season of goodwill and eating all the lovely foods, which I definitely have been doing. I've got a visitor next to me because my son has a house full of boys downstairs playing drinking games because it's the festive season. Um, all we can hear is chicken noises, can't we? <laughs> so they're having fun downstairs. Um, I did make coffee. I'm going to go and enjoy that now with a snack. But you will see what I'm eating today in tomorrow's video. But like I say, the weekend, lovely, lovely weekend. Um, I haven't overindulged too much. So I've been out. I've enjoyed myself with friends and just taking each day as it comes. But try to limit the damage by eating sensibly when I can. And I think that's just going to be the key for me in these next few days leading up to um, to Christmas, which seems really weird because it still doesn't feel like Christmas, even though I've been wrapping presents today and I'm nearly, nearly done with my shopping. Well, I hope I am because it's nearly Christmas. Thank you so much for watching and I hope everyone's had a lovely weekend as well. I will see you tomorrow for the next one. So there's a bit of a delay in my video this evening because one of the boys has been sick on my blinds.